Just a few days ago, Adobe announced its own version of AI. It's called Firefly, and the trailer for it looks amazing. It's yet one more image generation tool, but Adobe brings some new ideas to the table. Its system has a dedicated UI that makes inputting commands a whole lot easier. It definitely beats typing obscure commands on Discord. But how does Firefly fare in the image creation department? Midjourney has quite a bit of a head start, and the recent version 5 update is incredible. So the gap between the two is probably going to be a bit too wide. But let's find out. Let's start with one of my most recent Midjourney prompts. Midjourney version 5 is absolutely killing it here. It's exactly the type of visual I had in mind when I was thinking about the prompt. It might not follow the text to a T, but that's alright. The majority of the prompt is there. We're missing the retro green rug, but we do have the overall retro decoration. The system also got the natural lighting right, and most importantly, the long-haired character sitting on a couch. I think it goes without saying, the overall atmosphere is spot on. Now let's see what Firefly came up with. There's a lot of things to talk about here, but the main issue I have is the overall look of the image. It looks like a generic stock photo. Unfortunately, that's to be expected. Adobe made a conscious decision to only use stock imagery to train the AI. Instead of grabbing every image available on the internet without the artist's permission, they chose to train it with a limited collection of images they can actually use. The side effect of that is this generic looking set of images. All of them scream stock footage. I could show you similar examples from stock image websites, but I don't really want to offend anyone. The reason we see so many generic looking images there is because they have to cater to a wide audience. I get that, but at the same time, the result of that is a level of quality that is just not there. Everyone who has ever worked in advertising knows this feeling of dread when you have to endlessly scroll for hours just to find this one perfect image. But image quality aside, there's one more big issue. Firefly seems to have a hard time following the prompt. Let's take as an example this image here. That's definitely not a man. The character has long hair, but it's also 100% female. Firefly also has some trouble creating the chaos implied in the prompt. Instead of having stacks of boxes and documents like we see in Midjourney, we just have a neatly arranged chaos. Just a few inoffensive boxes here and there. Midjourney, on the other hand, is doing a great job. The composition, lighting, rendering, they're all top notch. There are of course errors with how things are rendered, but overall the image looks great. With this test, I wanted to see how well Firefly would do with portraits. The past few months Midjourney had some huge advancements on that front, so I was 100% sure that Midjourney would have zero problems with it. And it looks like that's true. These are some amazing looking images. They're full of character and personality. Now let's see Firefly. Once again, we can't escape the stock image look. The lighting feels uninspiring and the faces lack character. With Firefly, we get more of a model's look as opposed to Midjourney, where we get faces a real photographer would actually like to shoot. Midjourney is once more doing a better job here. I'm hoping that this is something that will improve in the future, but I think it's going to be a difficult task. If Adobe doesn't manage to get permission from a wide variety of artists, we might be stuck with images that lack character. But AI is not all about photorealism. We can use it for so many other things, like illustration work. So let's see if Firefly fares any better there. Midjourney is once more doing an amazing job. It can produce awesome results in pretty much any style imaginable. Whatever look I tried, I always got back something great. Where things get even better though is through the use of commands like Tile. With it, we can create seamless patterns in a matter of seconds. 
Firefly unfortunately is not doing so great here. First off, it looks like the functionality to create tileable graphics is not there yet. But the main issue I'm having is with the styles available. No matter how many options I tried, the render didn't change that much. And when the image did change, the effect didn't really look convincing. It looked more like a filter applied on top of an image. That's in stark contrast to Midjourney, where we can easily adjust things in order to get exactly the look we're after. I wanted to try out one last thing. I wanted to see if changing the subject matter would help things when it comes to art styles. But unfortunately, it looks like that's not the case. Midjourney has no problem imitating art styles. It might not do a great job imitating Kandinsky's very abstract style, but at least it's clear that the system understands what it should aim for. And I would say two out of the four images have some nice qualities. I would have liked to see things portrayed in an even more abstract manner, but I would say Midjourney gets a pass. Now let's see Firefly. The images do look good, but they definitely have no connection to Kandinsky's work or any sort of abstract art. The images look more like the illustration work you would find in a stock image website. As you can see, Firefly still has some room to grow, but that's to be expected, we're still at the beginning. I'm not so concerned with the difficulties the system is having when rendering elements like hands, faces, and overall proportions. That's going to improve fast, similar to the huge quality improvements we've seen with Midjourney. What worries me though is the actual image quality when it comes to styles and art movements. I don't think that's going to be an easy thing to solve. With a limited dataset, we will get limited results. It would be great if Adobe introduced some sort of an artist initiative. If you allow the AI to use your images, you get compensated for it. That would solve Midjourney's shameless image ingestion and at the same time it would improve the overall quality of Firefly's images. Currently, it feels like we're browsing a stock image website with a very limited type of artwork. I'm hopeful that Adobe will figure out a way to work with artists and in the end have a product that can compete with Midjourney. As it is now though, Midjourney is way ahead. Anyway, I think that's about it for now. I will leave you with a couple more side-by-side -side comparisons just so you get a better idea of Firefly's capabilities. Take care, and I'll see you on the next one.